The reason why I almost always pick French dishes when I want to escape through my kitchen is because French food is pretty easy, but it's the most delicious food. And France is one of my favorite places to travel to, so I always want to recreate that at home. This recipe is called a clafouti. Cla fou -ti. It's not a Parisian dish. It comes from humble beginnings in the rural part of the south of France. When I make it, it makes me think of summer days in the French countryside, like walking through a Renoir painting. It's made with different variations, like plums or apricots. But the most traditional way to prepare this dish is with cherries. This part doesn't have to look perfect. In fact, it'll actually look more beautiful in the end if it's not perfect. This is actually more of a custard rather than a cake. The exact measurements matter here. One cup of whole milk, a fourth of a cup of heavy cream. Mix them and set it aside. Cake flour is much lighter than all-purpose flour, so it'll make the custard less dense. We only need about half a cup, plus a pinch of salt. Measure that and set it aside. Pure almond extract is, to me, the secret ingredient that makes this dish magic. It's nutty and rustic and it just makes me happy. Four eggs, half a cup of granulated sugar. The eggs and sugar are done when they look creamy, so put this aside and we'll come back to that later. The milk and cream need to be hot for this, but not burned. While it's sitting over a low flame, watch for bubbles forming just around the edges. When you see this, it's done. In small portions, add the flour to the cream and don't stop whisking. The mixture will start to thicken and you'll smell the flour begin to cook a little bit. The trick to whisking is all in the wrist. Keep whisking and pouring slowly as you combine the eggs and the cream together. If you pour too fast, the hot cream will curdle the eggs. Technically, this is a dessert, but I think it's even better for breakfast. Into the oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 55 minutes, and then wait. You'll know it's done when the center is solid and the edges turn golden brown and start to pull away from the pan. It's not completely done without a heaping sprinkle of powdered sugar on top. Only then is it the perfect slice of the south of France. So where do you guys want to travel to through the kitchen? Post it in the comments, give me a country, and I'll make a dish from there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.